some people may ask me, Kevin, how do you see supernatural things? Kevin, how do you see demons and stuff like that? Kevin, how do you have these visions and things of that nature? Well, to be honest with you, I don't want to see demons. <laughs> I don't. Anyways, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Anyways, lost my train of thought. I don't really receive as many visions and dreams as I used to. I don't. Now, I may receive much more or I have been receiving much more demonic dreams. But back when I would pray three hours a day and read the Bible for two hours a day, I was receiving very clear visions. And you may ask, what is a vision? Let me explain it in the best way that I can. Now, there are times where to explain it the best way, and you may have your own definition of what a vision is, Sometimes I will receive mental images like very, very clear or can I say 4K or HD images that pops into my mind where it comes to my head, I guess, and at the same time, I can see it, if that makes any sense. Or what happens, <laughs> this may sound funny, but I see these video clips <laughs> where you know how you are watching me now? Somehow it comes to my mind or something like that where I can see it as clearly as I can see what I am looking at right now or in some cases much more clearer I know that this makes no sense to you but this is what visions are and I believe I told you all that Dreams are not dreams. Dreams are supernatural. And I believe, I can be wrong about this, I forget where it is, but I believe somewhere in the Bible, I may be wrong about this, but I believe Maybe I should not say it. Let me say this. Some people call dreams night visions as well. Okay. So, back around that time period, when I would read, read the Bible for two hours a day, and pray for three hours a day. Yes, I was receiving much more visions, but at the same time, how can I say this? I could sense the spiritual much more easier as well. We have to understand 
the more that you seek God, of course you have to follow his rules and regulations as well, of course. The more you seek God and obey God, yes, you are becoming one with God. So God is a supernatural God. So when you are becoming one with him, you are becoming one, to make this easy to understand, you are becoming one with the supernatural as well. So of course, you are going to receive all these dreams and all these visions and all this stuff here, of course. Because you are lining up with God, with his ways. So you are becoming one with him. I pray that this makes sense. Because you have to understand when you stay in sin and do all these sins, okay, you are becoming one with those demons. Yes. <laughs> so if you are following God's rules and you are becoming one with him in that way, well, the opposite would have to be true too. You are becoming one with demons as well when you begin to stay in sin or when you stay in sin. Let me say this too. This is why I tell you all to fast, to pray, and read the Bible. I went on this fast and I tried doing seven days, but I was about six hours and I fasted for six, no, six days and 22 hours, I believe, 22 or 21 hours around there for six days and 21 or 22 hours. I tried doing the whole seven days, but I had to go somewhere, so I could barely walk. <laughs> so I drank some water and someone gave me like these little small oranges. I believe I ate two of them. When you don't eat or drink for seven days, <laughs> my Lord. It feels really strange to eat anything or to drink anything. It is like your body is saying, what is this? <laughs> what is this stuff? <laughs> and it took me about three days to really get my eating back on track because like I had to eat really really slowly and you have to be careful of what you eat when you fast or after you fast because if you eat too much or too fast or the wrong stuff you are going to puke it all out anyways On the third day, I was asleep. Or on the third day, you know, I was reading and praying, doing my usual things, whatever. So afterward, I went to sleep. And my face was facing the couch. Okay. All of a sudden, I was awake. 
But the crazy thing about it, <laughs> and you may say that, Kevin, you are crazy, blah, 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 whatever. You obey God, you fast, you pray, and you read the Bible and tell me what happens. If you aren't doing that, then you can't say anything to me anyways. I went to sleep and I guess I woke up. But the crazy thing about it, I could see behind me. I was thinking, my face is facing the couch. <laughs> How can I see my TV, my laptop? How can I see behind me when my face is facing the couch? Okay. And I was kind of like, what's going on? And I saw this person right behind me. And I am thinking, I did not hear anyone enter into my room. So I'm thinking, this is really weird. Who is this person? And I could kind of, I was not really focusing on what this person was wearing. I was just shocked that someone was there. And I was thinking perhaps this is my angel or something like that because I know that in one dream or one night vision, I had a dream about these three angels and one day and this other time I was praying and while my eyes were closed and while I was praying I saw this other angel too so I am thinking maybe that is my angel there but I was not sure And I am not going to say who I was told it was because many people may not believe it, but I saw a person there, but I could not see the person's face. I could not. I was just in shock that someone would be watching me sleep. <laughs> I'm like, who is this? Like, this can't be my brother or my aunt or my uncle or who is this? So, like I said, first I was shocked that I could see behind me and there were other times where I would pray and while I was praying, I could see behind me anyways, but the shocking thing, I could see a person behind me, though. That was really shocking. So I was like, maybe that is my angel. So I started to focus on something else or somehow, I know that this may not make any sense. I could see behind me somehow I can't say I turned my head, but somehow I looked or I closed my eyes. To make this easy to understand, I stopped looking at that person <laughs> because, you know, I thought it was really strange that someone would be watching me sleep. But <laughs> anyways. That fast was much harder than it really should have been. Much harder. We have to understand, I don't know if I said this already, but when you are doing things of God, you are going to have demons, witches, people who work for demons come against you spiritually. So, the things that should not be really hard 
are going to become much more of a challenge. For instance, let me say this. After the seven day fast or six hours and no, six days and 22 hours. So during the fast, I was reading the Bible and praying, you know, three hours a day praying and two hours a day reading the Bible. So after the fast, I tried to read the Bible and pray. It was like, it was about two or three times harder, harder to read the Bible and pray. It made no sense. I kept on falling asleep so much while reading the Bible and praying. I would sleep, wake up, try to read and pray, fall to sleep, wake up. This continued, my Lord, so often. And I am thinking, what is going on? Why is it taking so much effort to do something that I usually do each day? Yes, I miss some days, yes, but why is it so hard? Demons, witches, people who work for demons are fighting against you. Kevin, you should not speak about demons all the time. Leave. <laughs> they play a huge part in our daily lives. Whatever, man. We have to understand this. So, the more you increase in God, you have to know that the demonic will have to increase as well. The more you increase, <laughs> okay, the more the demonic is going to increase as well. Why? I have no idea, but that is how it is. I'm serious. My Lord. So if you want more of God, you have to seek God more. You have to obey God. I did not ask whoever that person was to, <laughs> to watch me sleep <laughs> on the third day of my fast. And I was only fasting to please God. Like I was not fasting to get this done or to get that done. I was only fasting because I wanted to get closer to God. This is the reason why I fasted for that six days and 22 hours. Or can you say seven days? Seek God more. There is no easy route to seek God, per se. You have to put in the effort. I am an average guy, an everyday average guy. Maybe below average, I don't know. But if Kev can do it, how much more can you do it? All I did was place effort <laughs> to seek God. That's it. That's it. If I can do it, surely you can do it. If God can show me all those visions of demons and angels and all this stuff here, surely he can do the same for you. God doesn't show any favoritism. He doesn't. So if it works for me, 
surely it is going to work for you. So let me stop here. God bless you.